Settle the wreckage. I'm glad you asked. Oh my god! A hundred card historic brawl. Settle the wreckage in hand after I called it. Riley, here we go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained here. Seasoned Pyromancer can let you ditch your hand in this case to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And we need exactly two. We need Bone Crusher Giant and an untapped red source. Need the uh, the Bone Crusher Giant with Stomp, which uh, stops the the nine lives from preventing mm -hmm. damage, and we need the Red Source to cast the Stomp, Dennis. And wouldn't you know it? There it, it is. Look at that. I've always maintained, Dennis. I've always maintained that Magic is a very skill testing mm. game, indeed. And Charizard James is showing us just how skill based this game is, ripping the actual perfect two off the top here, and is going to win the game on the spot because of it. Yo, what's up, Titan Smash? Oh no! If this was the only way Tibble's Trickery had ever been used, Riley, I think it would have been balanced the way Wizards intended it. I think this is actually magic as R&D intended, Tibble's Trickery. Getting rid of an eye twitch? Why are you scared of an eye twitch? Now you have to deal with the lolth. What was that? I'm terrified of an eye twitch, dude. Like, if, it, if only it had been something like a lolth, you know? <laughs> Raise the alarm? We found their win con. We didn't know what it was, and now we know. I've now found their win con. I don't like it. You fool didn't play around triple tithe. Listen. My opponent had Sky Tether main deck and then sported out of all the bad cards and boarded in good cards like Memory Lapse and Teferi. How am I supposed to win if I know that? Their, their tempo play of two soldiers are going to win them the game. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. I can't look. I can't look. Ow. Man, Val Valkmira is a problem. Nope. Oh no. Wait, what just happened? Why was this five mana? Oh no. It came in top. Oh no. It came in top. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Did we do it? Yes. I attack. Holy shit. I attack. I attack. I attack. Everyone's clenching right now. No. Oh, he lost. He lost. I attack. No. No. What? Oh, he lost. Oh no. Okay, I want them to kill this first. So I play this first. And I want these two to, to cast my other spells. <laughs> no. Stop, opponent. Stop it. Please stop. Please stop. Please don't do it to me. Don't cast another land destruction spell. Please no, oh my. Let's go! Not this starshin! Ah, yeah! Feel the power of the six mana black sorcery. Not distortion, come forth! I summon the winged dragon of Ra! I was exaggerating. Oh, a royal eruption again! Oh my god! Taker! Face! Oh, double Chandra emblem! Oh, is this. Yes! 
I guess I should just use this anyway. Wait, is this game? <laughs> oh, face damage. Oh, no freaking way. <laughs> All right, give me Scorpion off the top right now. It's just too good to be true! It's just too good to be true! It's just too good to be true! What the heck, dude? Cheating! They have Fatal Push. I don't care. If they have Fatal Push, they're gonna use it now. Oh no, it goes back in the deck! <laughs> no! Oh, if they have Fading Hope, I swear. I'm gonna pay three life and then they're gonna Fading Hope it back to their hand, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I didn't say that. Oh no, I should've played Thalia first! No, I should've played Thalia first! No, don't do it! No! No! The second one got Approach. Wait, that still counts as casting, doesn't it? Wait, what? That's the worst possible <laughs> That doesn't work the right way. Oh my gosh, is this lethal? Oh, please be lethal. Oh my gosh. Is this broken or is this broken? I think we're broken. Oh my gosh, please don't kill my dog. Please don't kill my dog. If they kill my dog, I swear. Can't be blocked. Go 14, 14 dog for lethal. Yes, yes, yes. They're dead. Oh my gosh, wait. They have six cards in deck. Oh my gosh, they mill out. Oh my gosh, we milled them. We milled them from Angel of Suffering. They're dead. Oh my god. Oh, I'm going to tilt for Sin Voyage. Let's both tilt together. You ready? All right. When the Wandering Emperor gets cast, we both have to tilt together. I, 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 I trust me. All right. I'm ready. All right, cool. I'm ready too. I'm waiting. Oh, oh my god, my every god, freaking again. time. So oh my Third god. Emperor? Why do they have so the many wandering cards? emperors? You have to be kidding me. You have uh, you don't have emperor. You top deck emperor against my freaking dragon. Nobody's supposed to emperor my dragon, and then they have another one off the top. I can't play around two in a row. Are you kidding me right now? All right. God. This is. This is. Ooh. I'm not gonna have thirteen cards in my deck. Blended run. <laughs> Reclamation? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh god, I can draw a lot of cards, right? Don't we draw like four cards from this? Or at least three? <laughs> you 
Damn it, Breach. Oh, no. Alright. Watch this. Infernal Grasp right now. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, I, I did it! Oh, I called it! Oh, I called it! Oh! Watch this. The most trickery off the top. I mean, it lets them, like... I'm just gonna plus. Graveyard Trespasser? I needed that. Oh well, there's three more in the deck. If they top that Grease Fang, then sure, they got me. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? What is going on? Holy crap, dude! What is going on? I'm dead on board. They just attacked me. Oh my god! What's wrong with this game? The second time in like four matches. Crap, how do I win now? Can you hear me? Yes, you can. Let's go. Pants throwing the festival. Here we go. Every time my computer updates, by the way, it just like turns off my mic for whatever reason. It just like doesn't recognize the fact that my mic is uh, in my computer. So this is the a different deck here. We are not playing Bant Storm. We're playing Bant Storm tomorrow. I'm just working on this deck. Um, we're playing Orzov today because that was our deck submission. Did the Windows update today as well? Yeah, it's weird. Um, we're going to figure out two more cards to play in this deck, and uh, it's going to be a Gala Ritas and another Catilda. All right, that's that deck. One of my changes to Orzov list, I totally can. Okay, cool. Like, what were your bad matchups? Like, what? What was bad?
We also need one more black source here. Can I go 9 0 again? Of course, always, absolutely. Why not? Gund and Esper. Wasn't well, that the top two decks of the format? And 5 0 today with Mono Black back to top 100 and at 73. Let's freaking go, Job. You're having a problem with Jund and having a problem with Esper. The problem with Jund is it has such an easy answer to everything because Terra Thunder is a card. Fabio, what's up? What's up, Nuno? Before I get into some changes changes of this deck, I want to give a shout out to the sponsors of the stream. Number one is Ultra Pro, the standard and safe storage by their stuff. Their stuff is awesome, high quality, and affordable. Also, 5% off of Ultra Sleeves by using code DGEN at checkout. You can get 5% off of CoolStuffInc.com, literally anything in the store, sleeves, deck boxes, and more using code JAMES5 for 5% off there. Also, for all your Magic Online needs, if you play that uh, Microsoft Excel format, then you can use Card Hoarder. Also, TCG Showdown, where you can battle against your friends for money. Also, Untapped.gg, where you can get the best deck tracker and meta stats in the game and also see the overlay that you see on my screen. Also... You can beef up your MTG Arena account by using mtgcodes.com to get packs, decks, and cosmetics, and use code DGEN for 10% off. Also, you can use code JAMES5 for 20% off Rogue Energy for all your energy drink needs. Now that we have that out of the way, clipped and ready to go, you've been playing the Esper Legends deck you were rocking yesterday. It feels really strong. It is very strong. And also, our podcast episode came out this morning at 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern, and we talked extensively on the Esper Legends deck. So if you do want to hear... We talk about that deck on my podcast. It You can type in exclamation point podcast in the chat. It's called the Nuts and Bolts podcast. If you want to follow all the updates on Twitter, you can follow at Nuts and Bolts pod on Twitter. Also, we have a YouTube channel if you want to see my face talk about it. But as far as this deck is concerned right now, um, I feel like... There should definitely be a shield in here somewhere. How much value are we getting out of Sarah Paragon here? Rexian Missionary, Canyon, and Bankbuster, and Lily, and Trespasser, and Wedding Announcement. Look, like there should be some number of restoration of Iganjo in here. Uh, that YouTube goes to my main YouTube channel. If you want to see my um, regular my YouTube channel for the podcast, it's in the channels section of that YouTube, or also you can type in the Nuts and Bolts podcast in your YouTube browser, and you can find it there. You can type in like the Nuts and Bolts podcast MTG, and it should pop up. Thank you for that, Nuno. And we've only, what, three more of those for this month and we're done? Alright, so I kind of want... Like, Restoration of Iganjo is just, like, a good card. 22 and 9 since yesterday with updated Mono Black deck is just straight gas. It is straight gas. I feel like you, I feel like you want Cut Down over, like, probably Infernal Grasp.
Because, like, everything you want to Infernal Grass, you can probably cut down anyway. Every, everything you want Infernal Grass, you can probably use Destroy Evil on it anyway. Probably cut a back... Probably cut one of those. I mean, Bankbuster is pretty freaking good with Sarah Paragon, though. I just feel like as, as the game goes long, like, you start winning more and more. Can't cut down Titan or Shieldred. Fair. There's gotta be, there's gotta be, like, really good exile, exile removal in this, these colors, right? It's really difficult to play an enchantment that exiles because of how many, how many, um, Terra Sunders are in the green deck. Music's loud. Thank you for that. The, the volume of that was higher because of the podcast that I recorded last night, but thank you. Everybody felt really bad for Tempo. Soul Transfer might be okay. Yeah, I mean, there's no right of oblivion in here. Yeah, right, right is pretty bad. Well, right's pretty bad unless your deck is has, a, like, a lot of one-drop permanents. And also just many, many cards that make additional cards. Um, hear me out. I wouldn't mind this card. It doesn't like really do any like Rexian Missionary is like pretty bad. Unless you kick it. Oh yeah, I know it's a good card, but I don't think you need four of it. I feel like I'm liking how this is shaping up. The Resolute Reinforcement seems like a really good card, too. Like I'm, I feel like I'm liking this more. Like, I don't really like this card in, like, non-dedicated Angels decks, but I think, like, these might be, like, pretty strong. Cast ahead of Curve. Like, it's probably better than this. Oh, 
Soul Transfer is probably good. There's also no Meat Hook in this deck. There definitely should be. Hirsch is good, because you can bring it back with Sarah Paragon, but usually Hirsch just gets exiled. Why is this an alchemy version? Goodness, why? Why does it do that? Also, I think Duress is way better than Pilfer. I don't mind having a Soul Transfer main deck. I mean, Meat Hook you can just bring back with Sarah Paragon, so it's just like so much value. I'm gonna go below three missionaries. I think I want to try this first and we can make changes changes along the way. I do like the small angel package though. Like, we're already playing Archangel of Wrath, already playing Sarah Paragon, Enduring Angel's really good in the in the format, especially with the amount of invoked despairs and things that are in the format. Uh, also, Cruelty of Gix targets. Probably should be Cruelty of Gix in this deck, but I mean, the card, the card's just so good. But it's, it's hard to play a black deck without playing Cruelty of Gix, honestly. Just such a powerful card. But I understand you can't get it back with Sarah Paragon. So the reason why I cut an Emperor, a couple Emperors, and I cut... The reason why I cut a couple Emperors, honestly, is because um, I want to mitigate the amount of or and higher drops that I'm playing because I want to bring everything back with Sarah Paragon. Uh, let's just try this and then see how it goes, and we can always change it later. Pop in his AO. Yeah, I, there was AO in this deck. And then I thought about lower, uh, putting a little bit more removal in, lowering in the curve. Even though AO sounds really good in this deck. I mean, yeah, it's, it, it, it's pretty good. But is AO better than Shieldred? Like, is AO better than, like, the second copy of Archangel of Wrath? It is? 